and a mixed report card on the health of Singaporeans. Rising obesity and high cholesterol rates are of particular concern. And for a closer look, we're joined by Dr. Pua Ling Yo, family physician from Parkway Shenton. Thanks for joining us. Uh, firstly, we're seeing Hi, a range of unhealthy lifestyles become more prevalent. Are, are you seeing the same in your practice as well? Uh, I think so, yes and no, because uh, I do see less uh, smokers over the last few months. They tend to stay at home and, you know, a lot of smokers tend to smoke more when they're at the offices. They can have a smoking break, but, you know, at home it's quite difficult with their wife and children around to smoke. So that is a good thing. But uh, I think the majority is actually um, on the um, reverse side. People are tend, tend to stay more at home, uh, work from home, and then they uh, order delivery indoors and they tend to get less motivated to go out and move. So we are seeing actually an uh, increase in uh, the um, obesity incidence and thereby leading to chronic diseases like hypertension, diabetes and hyperlipidemia. Dr. Pua, COVID-19 profoundly affected our leisure choices and activities, as you've described. How far did it affect lifestyles yes. in Singapore? Um, I think, uh, as what I've alluded just now, uh, people tend more to fear going out. So the fear of going out and getting the virus is very real. Uh, even when the uh, task force actually opened gyms and so on, some many people actually cancelled their memberships far in advance of this uh, measure and actually uh, went to exercise locations less. Um, so, you know, and they are getting used to staying at home, working from home and eating food that is delivered from outdoors, which is not exactly healthy compared to the food that we cook. So they are getting um, more work um, and extending work hours beyond the 5 p.m. mark because um, they can actually work longer and they tend to uh, um, have less time with children and also exercise less. So it's actually a detrimental effect in long term. Yeah, it does seem to be compounding things. So we're also an aging population that doesn't help. Uh, you'd imagine chronic yes. illnesses would rise in tandem then, but what's your sense of the situation surrounding younger people? <sighs> I think younger people are coming to me more of um, worry for their increasing weight and also BMI. So actually, people that I've seen um, before, they, they actually had an ideal BMI, are getting to a BMI which is more than 23, which is the Asian target. So um, actually, we're worried about that because with increasing obesity incidence in Singapore, we can actually see an increase in uh, diabetes um, incidents especially and we uh, our country and Malaysia actually has the highest number of renal failures in the world the highest proportion and if diabetes continues to increase with obesity and that we will have a big problem in the years to come so exercise lifestyle is still something that's very important that we should continue and uh, the government plays a pivotal role to encourage our citizens to exercise uh, by their programs um, especially by the Health Promotion Board. Yeah. The survey showed that people are exercising more, Dr. Pua, but they're doing it more leisurely. And at the same time, moderate exercise, that number is down. So what are some easy ways for us to intensify workouts? Actually, if you think about it, people are more... Um, comfortable in going to the public parks and walking. Uh, and because uh, it's a pandemic era, the, the family is more knitted together. So they tend to go out in groups, especially in their own families, because you know any interaction with other members of another family would pose a risk. So they will normally take the elderly uh, parents out or their children out. And they tend to, with the children and the elderly, they can't involved with their own exercise. They have to cater to the elderly and the children. So just running around with the children and actually um, just wheeling the, the elderly around. So that is actually, um, the intensity of exercise is actually less than what they did pre-pandemic. So actually, uh, the task of us is actually to encourage these people to try to go back to their pre-pandemic uh, exercise regime, which is, uh, 
uh, recommended by the WHO, 150 minutes of moderate exercise per week, which is um, about uh, 45 minutes, three times a week, or about half an hour, five times a week. Um, but it is a tall order because, um, you know, we have our family around us. So um, the GPs play actually a pivotal role in enc encouraging the kind of diet they, they take every day, uh, how they go about exercise, you know, when how to take out time apart from the family to do exercise and uh, also the government programs, which can actually help them a lot on, along the way. Yeah. Away from exercise and that aspect of things, the report also points out that people are getting vaccinated against the flu or more people, in fact. How important are these shots yes. with COVID in the background? Yeah, so uh, flu vaccination is very important now, especially it's the peak season. Uh, we are entering the winter phase in temperate countries and more of our citizens are actually traveling. So uh, flu vaccination is very important. We know that flu flu derived pneumonia is actually very high prevalence pre-COVID and it can be even higher than COVID and cause much mortality among the elderly. So, um, and the other point is, if you have the flu vaccination, the common flu won't be um, categorized together with the COVID. So we can differentiate who is COVID and who is flu. So if more people are vaccinated against the flu, we will have less incidences of flu and they won't be uh, confused with COVID cases. And we can you know, divert our attention to the COVID cases rather than dealing with flus and uh, swabbing everybody and so on. Yeah. Dr. Poir, thank you very much for breaking down the details of this thank survey you. for us, this health survey. Uh, it's been good to talk to you. Dr. Poir Ling, you're there from Parkway Shelton.